here in Morristown, Tennessee. Starting off on 265 foot hole one, we're gonna hand it As you heard there, next up to T, we've got Dynamic Disc sponsored Zach Melton. He's our lefty on the card, so it's real nice to see left-handed and right-handed throwers on the same card. I was very excited about that when I knew I was going to be filming this card. Looks like Zach is lining up a hyzer shot, more than likely with a putter. Let's see what he can do. Big high hyzer. It's pretty wide. Mm -hmm. Looks to be good. You saw behind Chris down there, the rocks uh, was the OB area. Zach being a lefty here, uh, this is going to be a tough putt because uh, he's got potential to roll away and go downhill OB, which I've seen happen numerous times from other players and myself. Ooh. Yeah, he asked for it to lay down. That hole, and I've took some big numbers myself. Zach tapping in for his two 535 foot par four. This is a mm -hmm, great shot from Dickerson there. Melton next to T. Oh, yeah. Turning it over, trying to get up the hill. It's another great shot right there. But uh, it's not very common, so uh, most of these guys are going to be probably laying up uh, just trying to get a three, a birdie three, and move on to hole number three. Good run from Zach, sitting right in the basket. I think some people would say this is a uh, soft par four, but it's still pretty long. Par, but as the tournament director and course designer's roles, but uh, he's, I think he's about 75 to 90 feet from the basket. Now this hole seemed to me it'd be hard for a left-hander. Definitely can be as a lefty myself. Uh, I've seen some absolute great shots here. I usually try and go the inside route. Zach is going for a huge Anheuser trying to go around the outside. He has the arm to do that. Unfortunately, he got caught up there. Dude, great shot from Logan. Great approach. Zach with a soft hyzer. Just try Zach's got a little bit of a putt here. Uphill like that. Uh, sometimes can get in your head, but no problem from Zach. I'm just glad he grew his hair out before we got to film him again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Moving on to hole number four, it's a 310 foot par three. You can see from that shot, that is why. Great shot from Dickerson there. Now for a lefty, this, this uphill forehand, this is, just feels like it's gotta be tough. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to have a lot of power to get up there. I don't attempt to sidearm this, I try backhand and hyzer shot. Zach has plenty of power. Wow, these guys. <laughs> that was a Tennessee from, for Brandon. Yeah. Could have been, could have rolled down in the woods, so he's all right. My Zach did end up a little bit down here in the woods. Mm. Mm. Not able to make the putt. Uh, it is uphill, so it plays quite a bit longer than that, but a good hole to get. Zach able to make his putt. Definitely trying to make a charge towards first place. Moving on to hole number five. He wanted, he wanted. Mm -hmm. Didn't look too happy about that shot, but he's making a good charge right here in the first few holes, so hopefully he can get up and down from there and walk away to the par. Now this seems like a good lefty hole to me. Definitely. A little bit of hyzer flip on this hole. Uh, shoot you straight down the tunnel like Zach's trying to do here. A little bit inside, but he'll be all right. Yeah, right there. definitely. <laughs> Logan happy to just toss it up there and sit down for three. Is that Zach's running this? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what hand you are, this is if this can roll away. Yeah, absolutely. Too much hyzer on this could roll. He knew it right out of his hands. Making a great charge. No, that, wasn't, that wasn't that easy of a shot. A good putt from Zach there. Dickerson sitting at 37 down now, moving on to hole number six. Two, I'm not sure, we'll see when we get down to the bottom. 
Yeah. Zach. This is going to be a good hole for Zach, being the lefty. Yeah, you can tell he wants. He's like <laughs> concentrating really hard. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Zach's thinking of this as a must get for him. Looking like a good clean shot. Mm. He hit a little bit right there. The oh, was that parked right behind a tree? Yeah, that was a terrible pos position for him to be sitting in. Uh, he had to stretch out real far to get this. Oh. Mm. Just shot yet. Oh my gosh, what a part. But he hit a tree, he didn't hit one. <laughs> Moving on to hole number seven, 300 near the basket. Chris has got about a 30 foot putt, maybe 35 feet there. Zach, no surprise seeing him going down the middle with the lefty shot. Two holes in a row that are designed just for him. Yeah. Wasn't able to pick up the last one, almost did. Let's we'll see what he can do here. Looking very clean. Made it through. Skip. Ooh, yes. And he has parked it. Great shot from Zach. Let's get a backtrack on that one. Soft, smooth release with a little bit of hyzer angle. Just pures the fairway. Looking for a little bit of skip. It gets it, and he's right beside the basket. Zach with his tap in. Great birdie from oh, Zach. Oh, <laughs> little emotion there. He went four down through seven holes. Moving on to hole number eight. It's a great shot from Dickerson there. Yeah. What's the lefty mindset on this one, Annie? Um, yeah, I go with a little bit of Annie. Looks like Zach's done the same. I play a little higher on the hill up there on the left side. But uh, Zach looks like he knows what he's doing. I think it's the best, too, to land up on the flat the flat part of the hill. Give your second shot that much better of a chance. Now, there is a hill on the right side of the basket, so got to be kind of careful with this flick here. Could stand up and roll down. Well, that's the closest I've seen anybody land to that basket in I person. So. I think that's the farthest I've seen, too. Absolute crush from Logan. See what Zach can do. Isn't that burning? Mm -hmm. I think it's just better par four on the scorecard. Mm -hmm. 450 uh, feet. Yeah. Putt there. That's a good shot. Yeah. Yeah, this is another hole that I think is tough for lefties. Mm -hmm. It plays a little longer, I think, for a lefty. Uh, I usually try and rod that flat, flat area on the left side there. Looks like what Zach is doing as well. Trying hyzer around that pole, and that's a great shot there. Sure. Looked like he wasn't happy with it, but it was a good shot. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's a tough, tough putt. Got to give a huge shout out to our friend Jonathan Pickle, who actually toed this oh, yeah. during the uh, BDGC double. And Zach's going to tap his in. Another birdie as well. I know he doesn't think it, but it's... we're starting off this back nine on hole number 10, 485. Looks to be about pin high, 485 foot hole. Next up, Zach Melton, Dynamic Disc sponsored. He's 1014 rated. Yeah, this one seems like it'd be tough for left handed. Mm -hmm, definitely. With that downhill slope. Yeah, there is, uh, as Griffith mentioned, there's OB on the right side and OB on the left side as well. So it's a very wide fairway, but you do have to keep that in mind being a lefty. It could skip down the hill and you could go OB, but no problem. It's just kind of insane to me. <laughs> Absolutely. Zach checking out the wind on his approach shot here. Looks like he's got a jump putt. Let's see what he can do with it. Zach ripping the Tennessee balls orange. Yeah, that's a dumb idea. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. no, sit down. Oh, that. Oh my God, sit down. <laughs> Unfortunate roll there. Wow. Well, looks like Zach is uh, going for his putt after that roll away. That's a bad roll away. Yeah, it's unfortunate. He was right off the rim. I was hoping that one would stay, would go in. 
unfortunately, this hole does, a lot of these holes at Cherokee Park have roll away. Hill, yeah, roll away potentials. That's a good, that's a good bid. Yeah, absolutely. And he is, and after that unfortunate roll away, Zach kicks in a par putt. Did he kick that in? <laughs> yeah. I thought he did. Moving on to hole number 11, 290 foot par three. A better, mm -hmm. in my opinion now. Zach being a lefty, I'm sure he'll be going on the left side. I'm a lefty and I actually go on the inside route with a little bit of Anheuser, so uh, you can play that way or play the Heiser shot like this. Mm. There's a lot of bigger trees on that left side is the reason I don't go on the left side. And plus I don't have an arm like Zach, so. <laughs> Of course, you all watching our videos, you know that. But once you make it to the inside the wooded area, you've got to jump putt pretty much everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. And he sits down beside the bed. Have to chalk that up to loss of concentration, really. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Zach tapping in. I think he really wanted this one. This is a tunnel shot right down the middle of the fairway. If you can get out of the small fairway, uh, mimicking a chicken saying bonk bonk. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Well, this is so tight. <laughs> Zach's so funny. I love being able to film Zach. And if you haven't seen it already, we did a BDGC Joe's versus the Pro with Zach Mountain. We did one with Logan Bowers also. We had so much fun with those guys, so make sure you check out those videos if you haven't already. Oh, Zach. Mm. Good shot. He caught a little bit of limbs, but I think he did manage to get out. In future years, it's going to probably come into play quite a bit. Yeah. Zach has a jump putt. Wow. Anytime you're up for a putt on this hole, that's very good. Mm hmm. See if you can capitalize on it. Mm. Oh, oh he gave it everything he had. <laughs> he doesn't oh. like it. That's Zach like Zach does too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, he got that one. Yeah, that's good. Good little straight putt from Zach. That distance right there. Moving on to hole number 13. Spoiler alert, this is going to be a short one. Hoping we get a SC top 10 shot here. <laughs> <laughs> Zach looks to be going with the forehand hyzer shot. Like I said, there is a left side gap, but kind of go a lot wider and higher as well. So he definitely has the forearm to do it. Yeah. He's... Forehand, I'm sorry. I said forearm. forearm. <laughs> he might have some big forearms. <laughs> Popeye over here. Whoop, yeah, whoop. Raising the roof <laughs> and a little bit of dab. <laughs> about 45, 50 feet back up towards the pin. Zach right beside it. It's kind of hard to tell from the angle, but from what I'm, good star frame there from everybody. Here's the long one, hole number 14, 600. I think he's kind of compensating for that OB a little bit, but mm -hmm. as long as you land in the middle of the fairway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I feel like as a lefty, you can be a little more aggressive on this one because you can throw on the right side, but with uh, an understable disc and let it flip over and not have to worry about the OB as much. Little like, spin. Mm -hmm. Zach's done that. He's exactly feeling himself today. <laughs> yeah. Very flick up shot from Brandon there. This was a funny part here with filming this. Zach and Chris. Chris was down the hill and Zach was up the hill and they was having me walk back and forth saying each other were out. Oh, <laughs> it was <God>. funny. <laughs> Such a good time filming those guys. They really have fun out on the course. That good shot. Good. Very good. A little half go. You still these guys are pros, but they're still scared of this. Mm -hmm. Zach, as you can see here, he also has the stump in his way. Now he's talking about chicken earlier. So yeah. you better go for this <laughs> if he's gonna bop bump. <laughs> Such a great putt from Zach right there. Let's get a backtrack on that one. That stump right mm -hmm. in his way. He didn't care. So you can see right through the gap on the stump, a little bit higher yeah. than it. Such an outstanding putt from Zach. Same line half where it went there. <laughs> Moving on to hole number 15, 360 feet. This hole has a uh, straight up the middle gap and it also has a like a lefty hyzer uh, left side gap over here. Uh, looks like Zach is going for the left side gap. 
it takes a little more distance to hit that left side. Mm. This hole is a lot less wooded than it used to be. He was probably close to 80 feet there. Zap the jump putt as well. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to have to put some Anheuser on this putt. That is it true the way? tail from this angle, but it looks like it might. Well, maybe not. It's right. a good layup there. A basket, it's really. Mm -mm. And oh. another. Oh my goodness. That one hurts. That one. Mm -hmm. Zach a little bummed out after that one, which you would be. I mean, he hit that basket from, it's hard to tell from our angle, but necessarily, it isn't necessarily a, a two that most people didn't. No surprise to see Zach with a hyzer shot here. Wonder what's going through his head after that spin out, you know? Mm -hmm. Put it close, I'm sure that's yeah, what he's thinking. This is like, this is my hole. Mm -hmm. like, ain't it hole. <laughs> Oh, he's turned it over some. Oh, he's not long. He's going to have a long putt there with a lot of stuff in his way. Shout out to Noah Osborne there. This caddy? 1050 rated caddy, he said he claims. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Noah, you remember Noah? He filmed yep. during the uh, BDGC versus the locals number one at Panther Creek. It'll be a tough putt. Ooh, oh, oh, great redemption. Putt. Redemption for Melton here. Absolutely. Dickerson's stretching out his lead. He's at 45 down now. Moving on to hole number seven. Yeah, he... short problems again. <laughs> uh, now this is a danger of going right into the, into the, uh, the woods. You don't want to be right. Yeah, you <laughs> don't want to be right. You the do right not side. want to be all right. It's very thick over there. Uh, that's the kind of thick woods that you can lose a disc in in a heartbeat so yes probably worst in town mm -hmm. i'll say it mm -hmm. zach looking for it to turn over some and then flex back it's doing just mm -hmm. that yes and that's a great shot he's got a putt for a two there mm -hmm. see what zach can do he's looking for an eagle two here this once again this, another soft par four uh, for for the pros at least, uh, amateur is definitely, uh, you know, it can be considered par four for some of the lower amateur divisions. Mm, no problem there. It's a great putt from Zach. Mm -hmm. it's good too. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. I'd take it to a hole left to play in the tournament. Hole 18, 455 foot par four. Patented Dickerson step putt, I'm sure, from that area. Mm -hmm. Is it patented now? I don't know. We're going to go with it. <laughs> so, yes. Patent may be pending. <laughs> See what Zach can do. This is one where he can really open up and throw oh, yeah. hard. No uh, no danger for a lefty here unless you don't put enough on it. When you put too much and go oh. towards the parking lot. Yeah. There is OB yeah. where the cars are parked. Yeah. Up. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that one. See what Zach can do. All these guys landing in jump putt distance is amazing to me. Oh yeah. Oh, he's mm. a little bit further than I thought he was. Mm -hmm. Brandon and Zach tapping in their birdies. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another ladder too, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean. Honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, God, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some. And I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.